What's up everyone, Arctic here. And today I'm going to be kind of elaborating on uh, the objective game type. We kind of brought it up in episode uh, 17 and 18. I got Skyless here with me. What's up? And uh, basically, we're just gonna talk about how we think an objective base, basically bomb game type would work in Gears of War 3. Uh, the biggest thing is that this is for one life uh, game types, so execution and war zone uh, would be the main ones here. And the focal point of this, I think, is that, um, and this is kind of hedging on the man up rule and some of the things like stalemates and whatnot. But uh, an objective game type for one life uh, modes moves the flow of gameplay, really gets people moving because if they don't move, they lose. Yeah, I mean, I think the reason behind the man up rule was to speed up rounds that were essentially over. Uh, you know, because it's 2v4 or 1v4 or whatever. And the reason that you have that period is you have this two minute period where you're just walking around looking for the last guy. For the most part, especially in public rooms, it's just kind of wandering, looking what corner he's hiding in. <laughs> so it's just a matter of, uh, like, if you have an objective there, then it concentrates all the action around the objective. Or instead of looking for the guy, you can just go arm the bomb. Right. Now, if you think about this, there's really no one life objective based game types. People are like, yeah, there's an objective or capture the flag or whatever, capture the meat shield or um, now we have the uh, capture the leader and then you have King of the Hill, which are all objective based game types, but none of those are one life objective based game types. So you think about that every time on those game types, you are respawning. So I think this is really a different type of thing that we're talking about for the people that are saying, hey, there's an objective game type. No, there isn't in the sense that we're talking about. So um, well, I think you could argue execution has an objective of killing the other team. That's but... it's not an objective. That's not an objective because you know that people won't they won't want to die. So in effect, they'll do everything they can to not die. So that means they'll camp rounds will move slower versus an objective-based game type, where if you do not move, you lose. You have to fulfill the objective to move, or to win, rather. So I just kind of disagree with that whole objective where Warzone and Execution are game type, or objective game type, because you can grab the weapons, or the weapons become the objective. That's not the damn objective. The, the objective is to, I was about to say that too. <laughs> kill the, the person. That's not an objective to grab power weapons, and you know it just as well but as I But the weapons do. help you kill the person. No. That's, that's not the objective. Um, I think the issue is that the objective moves around the map and they can hide in corners. <laughs> exactly. Um, so, you know, another thing I want to kind of propose is that Epic has tried every other creative thing they can possibly think of for objective game types. Meat shield, flag carrying, um, capture the leader, king of the hill, annex. Why not a bomb game type? Why not? I think the most common argument would probably be that it's not original, because obviously Counter-Strike's the game that kind of made it popular. Call of Duty has Search and Destroy. So I guess the question would be, since this is something that Epic loves to do, what would be the Gears twist on things, you know? Well, it's easy tie-in. Gears of War 1, for those that have played the game, Gears of War 1... Spoiler alert. Yeah. Um, if you have not played the game, just, just saying. Uh, but there was a light mass bomb that you had to basically plant or uh, I don't know if it, it was buried scene, underground, but, but yeah, yeah, it drilled underground. You planted the light mass bomb and it blew up the main locust um, hive or whatever it was. So Tunnels, yeah. there's an easy tie-in to you know putting that in the game. You could plant. Um, a bomb on emergence holes, a light mass bomb that drills into the ground. Whatever you have to do, but the game play from the campaign ties into a bomb game type easily. I think the, that'd be the uh, storyline, I guess, behind adding, like what, what you would put there. I still wonder what Epic would have to do to the game type to give it a Gears vibe. Well, I mean... I mean, I think the gameplay is what matters most. I think it would improve the gameplay tenfold just having it with just a bomb. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the big I issue. think Epic won't do it unless they have I some mean, special yeah, way to right. do it, which is dumb, but whatever. 
I think they kind of missed the ball with the light mass bomb because that tied more into gears one, and now we're on three. So uh, I think they would not do that. But I mean, it's an easy tie. There's a lot of things you can do. You can just put a bomb there for all. Yeah, I mean, they could they could do that, but blow up old town. Um, I think the other thing that we wanted to kind of talk about was where would the bomb types or bomb plant sites be? Now, I think we're in disagreement here on this one because we kind of talked about this beforehand. I'm more apt to having two bomb um, sites versus your one bomb site. And I feel like two, while the maps, not all the maps might be playable, I think it just adds some more versatility to where people can go, what type of strategies can come. Um, from it versus just having one game, uh, one bomb type. And your core argument is that you'd be able to switch between bomb sites and move around the map and that kind of thing, right? Right. Yeah. The issue is the maps don't really support it, in my opinion. Like for this map, for example, where would you put your two bombs? This map wouldn't be a bomb map. <laughs> <laughs> Every map has to support all game types, though. No, this map wouldn't be one. <laughs> Maybe they could do one and two, but this map is obviously too small. I think Thrash Ball. Kind of. This is one of the largest small. maps. No, it's not. It was the second largest map in the beta. Come on now. Where would you put two bombs on trenches? On trenches? <laughs> yeah. I wouldn't play trenches. Trenches is an <laughs> awful map. Where would you Talk put about <laughs> this? Where would you put two bombs on? Uh, well, why are you avoiding the big one? On thrash ball. Why are you avoiding the big one? Old town. Yeah, exactly. I already talked about it well, with you. Yeah, yeah. Old I town think works. old town. The one bomb should go at the top of the high street. But old town works. And we can throw some images in, but. I think that one bomb would be better, no. just because the maps don't really support two bomb sites. Because in Counter Strike, the bomb sites were always split off, so you'd have like a whole separate part of the map, a whole separate part of the map, and then you'd have different paths between them, but they were split. Where on this game, generally, that's not the case because everything's symmetrical. So it's like the maps aren't different on each half, which is good. Just doesn't work for bombs. One bomb. Whatever. I think it works. <laughs> Regardless, it would significantly improve execution and as a new game type. I mean, you can keep execution. I just think it would be a better way of doing execution, in my opinion. So, yeah, that's our uh, our thoughts on bomb game type, guys. Let us know what you think in the comment section. If you guys think a bomb objective will work, do you think it would move gameplay, um, and would it alleviate stalemates or Epic proposing some type of man-up rule? Whatever it is that you guys think, whatever your feelings are, let us know, guys. And as always, please like and subscribe this video, and we will catch you later. Peace. Peace.